Hey guys, Seth Rogen here. Welcome back to Zelda Breath of the Wild. Guys, it's a beautiful day here in Zelda Land. We've got the sun shining. We've got a new portion of the map unlocked. We've got the Forgotten Temple over there to explore. And we've got Amiibos to scan. So let's not waste any time today. Starting off here with Wind Waker Link. As always, I should be checking these fish. Because this is a very good opportunity. Is that a new one? Look at that! Stealth Fin Trout. We got another new kind of fish for the compendium. That's perfect. I love it. Kind of feels a little cheap, but I'm not above it, guys. Because <laughs> these fish are always a pain in the ass to scan. Alright, come on, chest. Give me something good, please. Please, I beg you. That's... okay. Elemental arrows are good. But they're no costume. Ocarina of Time Link. Come on. There he goes. Yeah, okay. And I keep knocking over the other amiibos when I'm trying to keep them organized so they come in the same order every time. Which doesn't really matter at all, but I, I like to do it that way, guys. There it is! Finally, the Tunic of Time! Legend has it this armor was once worn by a hero who traveled through time. Strangely, its special design is fitted for children and adults alike. Which is funny, because in that game you play as a child and an adult, so pretty appropriate. Okay. Let's sort these. And then... So we've got the Cap of Time, Tunic of Time... And the Trousers of Time! We got the entire Time outfit, guys! Holy crap. There it is. We are Ocarina of Time Link. I didn't even realize it. It's our first complete uh, Amiibo Classic outfit, guys. So we can actually retire Ocarina of Time Link now. That's actually a little sad. Ugh, there, I set him off to the side, but I always had that plan, honestly. <laughs> I don't want to keep scanning them once I have all the unique items from them. Well, actually, I need to research that, because there may still be unique weapons you can get from them, even if you have all the clothes. I'm not entirely sure. And if that's the case, then there's no end to how many times you can get them, I'm pretty sure. So, I'll have to investigate that. But anyway, here's Ganondorf. As always, we can't get a costume from him, but we might be able to get a sweet weapon. Royal Claymore? Eh, that's pretty good. Oh, and I had room for it, too. That's weird. I wasn't expecting that. 8-Bit <laughs> uh, Link. Also, guys, I just woke up, so that may be why I sound groggy and or stuffy to you. Just a heads up. Woke up and jumped right in. Ooh, bomb arrows. I'm always happy to, to get bomb arrows. Always, guys. And... Smash Brother Link! Who gives us Twilight stuff. I think we've only gotten one piece from him so far. Oh, I should try... I should be trying to scan these fruit as well, but... Eh, too late now. Didn't think about it. Okay! Trousers of Twilight! Fucking yes. What do you want, Wolf? Get out of here. I'm busy. I'm getting close. Seems like they kind of come in bundles, guys. For a while, we weren't getting fuck all, and now we've gotten two pieces. Oh, wait, that's complete as well. Trousers of Twilight, Tunic of Twilight, and Cap of Twilight. No freaking way. Oh, I didn't realize it. Okay, so we can see the whole freaking tunic outfit, uh, the whole Twilight outfit as well. The cap looks almost exactly the same, but that's about right. Yeah, that's nice. I always really liked the way the tunic looked in that game. Get out of here, idiot. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, it's just like, it's it's something about the collar there. I don't know, it just looks unique. It always stood out to me. I like it. Well, I guess we can retire that amiibo as well, at least for now. So I'll set him over there. And you know what? We haven't done this for a while, we haven't really had a good opportunity, but since we're down here in this valley and we're heading for what may be a tough area... Why don't you come along for the party, Wolf Link? It's actually really appropriate. I'm wearing the Twilight tunic and we brought in Wolf Link. <laughs> I wish I could pet him, though. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't add something like that into this game, honestly. Okay, BRB. Okay, I'm back. That took longer than it should have, because for some reason, when I turned my Pro Controller on, it was stuck with, like, the right stick in an angled position, 
even when it was like not being touched, it, when it was in a neutral state, it was acting like it was being twisted to the right. So my camera was constantly rotating, and I had to resync my Pro Controller, guys. And then it took me like a minute to figure out how to do that, because it turns out I haven't synced any controllers to my Wii U in like I don't even know how long, years, <laughs> probably. Ah, Wolf Link, gonna do some damage for me. Nice. Did I get rid of all my rods? I think I did. Well, we can probably use this ice spear. Get some ice shoe jelly from that. Perfect. Thanks, Wolf Link. That was actually really helpful. That little bit of extra damage you did allowed me to kill the shoe in one shot. Now, if this place is as serious as I think it's going to be, guys, we are going to have to put on some real armor, but I just wanted to wear this Twilight tunic for now. Oh, look at him! He's just over there murdering fools. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I'm too lazy to go grab the meat, though. I hope that's a good omen, guys. The fact that we were able to complete two of our costume sets today. That's pretty nice. I wasn't expecting that. Two in one day. Get him, Wolf Link. Get him! Go get him! Yeah! He's a hunter. D no, you're going the wrong way, Wolf Link. Oh, he's going after the Big Daddy. That's why. Oh, look at that. <laughs> the regular wolf don't want nothing to do with it, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Get him, boy. Go for the jugular. Go for the jugular! Wolf Link actually isn't all that fast, comparatively. They're like the exact same speed. Nobody's ever going to win that game. <laughs> Forgotten Temple. I really wonder what this place is, guys. Ooh, he got somebody. Okay. It'd be a lot more useful if he would actually bring you the meat. That'd be nice. Hello, Mr. Korok. Thank you. Hmm, okay. We do have one Rivali's Gale left. We could use it to get up there. Hmm, sure. Let's make our life easy. Let's just super jump up, guys. Bye, Wolf Link. I didn't know I'd have to be parted from you so soon. I guess you can't really get up here, can you? Oh, did you guys hear him pouting down there? <laughs> That's funny. So how does this work? As far as, like... Oh, he teleports! He teleports, guys! He can stay with us! That's cool as shit. And canonically appropriate, because you could teleport pretty much anywhere you wanted in Twilight Princess. Actually, I don't think you could, like, just choose your destination. I don't really remember how it works. But the Twilight powers definitely include teleportation, so... It's not that weird. Okay, we've got Guardians in here. Which means I'm going to want a shield equipped and a Master Sword. So, Master Sword. And we'll start with the crap-ass shields. Hopefully we can get some parries off. Oh god, there's a lot of Guardians down here. Oh my god. Okay, okay, alright. Yep. Okay, no. Please don't shoot me from over there. One at a time, one at a time. That dude sees me from way back there. Look at that shit. Wolf Link, run! Wolf Link, what are you doing, man? Oh, you're gonna get murdered. Oh. Oh, Wolf Link. He has to retreat. Tactical retreat. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. Okay, I just want... Okay, we'll just do this one. That's fine. Nope. <sighs> Thanks, Mifa. Damn it, too late. Too late, guys. Come on, I got this, I got this. There we go. I always gotta recalibrate myself. I don't know why, I always want to do it a little later than what it should be. But I think I'm gonna have to rely on that parry a lot in this place, guys, because there's a lot of distance here. It's going to be hard to get to these guys before they're throwing down on me, you know? But the good news is we're going to get a ton of parts. Maybe after this we'll have to go back and try and buy an ancient weapon or two. Or maybe upgrade our armor. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, let's be smart about this. Speaking of armor, 
<laughs> if we're going to be fighting guardians, I'm going to go ahead and equip this stuff. I'm going to equip the circlet instead of the the actual ancient helm because I'm not using a guardian weapon, so it doesn't matter, and I like it more. Before I get all kinds of angry comments about it, that's my rationale, okay? Oh, that was sick, though. Okay, hold up. I love that downward thrust attack, guys. It gets me sprung every time I do it. Thought I saw some parts fall down here. Maybe not. Ah, there they are. Damn, there's a lot of these dudes, though. Okay, here we go. I can't Z-target him. Oh, shit. Oh, way too early. <laughs> ah, stupid different timing. We gotta try and get a better angle for that. I... I should be able to make this climb, I think. Actually, no, because with that lip there, I bet I can't climb over that. Especially when I use all my damn stamina preeminently. Uh, uh, okay. Well, we do have some updrafts here, which can be very helpful in getting around. I think the problem is we're going to get lit up while we're trying to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm going to fuck this up, guys. Oh, I didn't! I didn't fuck it up. Ha ha ha! Suck on that, you stationary bastard. Woo! Up your ass for days. Uh -oh. oh, why do you lose me so fast? That was weird. I was definitely still in his line of sight. This is a weird angle. Haha, <laughs> I got it though. Ooh, it's good practice, guys. Just keep me on my toes. I don't know what I was expecting from this place, really, but I figured it would be challenging. And uh, it's delivering. <laughs> it is delivering. Is this guy. Yeah, he is inactive. Okay. Oh, and there's a chest over there. Sweet. I hate this. I hate when you find the dead ones that you can't loot. Because, like, 95% of the time you can loot them, but then there's just ones that are just like, nope. Forget about it, son. Ooh, a feathered spear. This lightweight design is a hallmark of Rito craftsmanship. It's made from light and sturdy materials, which afford Rito warriors ease of use during aerial combat. Alright. I like that. I wonder if I should try and scan that. I'm not sure if I've gotten one of these things yet. Damage isn't incredible, but hey, I like spears, so I ain't gonna say no. I guess I should be checking down in these ravines. It doesn't really look like there's anything down there, honestly. I think we're good to just move on. Oh, is that a shrine I see? I bet it is. Oh god. Okay, so many more. So many more. Okay, I think I was on point there, but the shot actually missed me. <laughs> Sweet. Oh god, oh god, I didn't see him up there. <laughs> Every parry I land just brings joy to my heart, guys. You know what would be sweet is if I could do two parries at once. Oh, okay. I was hoping they would shoot at the same time. <laughs> but this guy over here was a second behind. Damn, guys. This is awesome. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
That's not awesome. That's not awesome. <laughs> yeah. As many of these as I'm landing, I'm still not good enough to deal with two at the same time. Ugh, early. Should probably try to get a little closer. Okay, we can use that pillar to the left to block the other guy. There we go. Okay. Freaking nailed it. I think that's all of them, guys. Hmm. I actually find myself wishing there was a little bit more down here. I mean, yeah, I did take, what, like, four shots during the course of all that? But I didn't die. Unless you count Mifa's Grace. Which I don't. So, screw you. I wonder if there's a Korok up in that tree. Hmm. I should probably go look. Oh! Chest. Okay. Oh. I guess I can't loot any of the stationary ones down here. How lame is that? Why would they make it like that? It's like a guardian graveyard. That has nothing for me. I haven't gotten a single core either. Actually, a little upset now that I think about it. Oh! Oh, hold up, hold up. I see you down here. You guys see this? What's this? Ha ha ha! Giant ancient core. There we go. They wanted us to find the chest, not kill a guardian for it. <laughs> Any other cubby holes like that? Uh, that's the only one. I'm gonna have to go back and refresh myself on what exactly all that stuff is used for, guys. The giant ancient cores in particular, I'm not sure if they're part of the weapon builds or upgrade parts. Or both, at some point. Okay, nothing in the tree. Whoa! That is the goddess statue, guys. That is directly from Skyward Sword. I recognize that. So that's the thing... Uh, I can't remember my lore exactly because I try to forget as much of that game as possible, but I think that's where the goddess sword was resting when it was originally created by the goddess Hylia. She put it inside that statue, and then that's where Link found it. And the, the goddess sword is the sword that was eventually upgraded to become the master sword. And then I want to say, at some point... Um, so it's, it started out in Skyloft, which was a city actually in the sky, like up above the clouds, where all the Hylians lived back then. And then at some point, the statue came crashing down into the surface, and I think they called that place... Oh, I wonder if this is the same goddamn place. Oh, I can't remember exactly, guys. It was called, like, the Sacred Grove or something like that? That's probably not right. But it was a pretty important area in Skyward Sword. I think there were a couple boss fights there, and this kind of looks similar, if I remember. I think this might honestly just be the same place. I think this statue's been here for, like, tens of thousands of years. Can we pray to this? We can! How about that? You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. Okay, it's just a generic upgrade shrine. I was hoping there might be something different here. Like a different kind of prayer giving us a different power, but no. I mean, it's cool that it's there. That's a really good throwback to a previous game, even if it's a game that I don't like. I still love that kind of stuff in Zelda games, guys. I love, like, continuity. I love references and throwbacks. And there's a Korok back here. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, ha, ha you found me! You have the ugliest face. Stupid super long leaf. I really don't like that design. <laughs> the super long leaf face. I don't know why. It reminds me of like... Like crappy comic book art from like the 70s. Um... There's a dragon flying around, but 
<laughs> he must be close, but there's obviously no way I can get him from here. Alright, awesome. This place was actually easier than I thought, but I guess that's just, uh, I guess that's just because I'm so pimped out now. With my armor and all my shields. Maybe the shrine will offer us a challenge. Nope, no challenge here. Rona Koktas Blessing. Give me something good, please. Another great flame blade. Okay. Well, we should take that. If only because we're going to be going to the Heber Mountain. That'll be the third one. <laughs> but we'll get some use out of it, guys. Honestly, we should probably part with one of these frost spears. I don't know. 20 is good damage for a spear. But I wonder if we wouldn't really get any bonus from it because we're going to be fighting enemies in a cold region, so Frost might not really do anything for us. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. Flame blades for days, guys. Okay. This will be the second spirit orb. We do have at least one more shrine up on Hebra. And I'm sure we'll be able to find at least one more. So we'll come out of it with another stamina upgrade. At least we damn well better. <laughs> okay, guys, I have teleported back to the top of Heber Mountain. Because this is where I wanted to come back to. And honestly, I'm just going to immediately fly over to that stable. And check that out and the shrine. Actually, mm, there is stuff here, though. Okay, we'll delay that momentarily while we check out this house and these... What was... Pondo's Lodge. Okay, I was looking at these totems, I guess you call them. They're not really statues, they're more like wooden carvings. They're like totem poles. Who are you, my friend? Pondo says, Hail, kiddums! Nice to meet a fresh face in these parts. It's not every day I get company this high in the hills. Can't give you a warm welcome, but how about a game I made up? Snowball Bowling, or as I call it, Snowling. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> okay, so we had Boom Bam Golf from the Zoras, and up on here we've got Snow Aline. How does it work? Oh. What a sweet boy to show an interest. If you don't know the rules, I can explain them in a flurry. A flurry, guys. <laughs> At the foot of the hill, we have ten. Count them, ten pillars or pins. Give that snowball a good hearty toss from the tippy top of the hill to try and knock over all the pins you can. Oh. The ball might take a few detours on its ride down the hill, but any pins it hits when it reaches bottom are done for. There's no cooler feeling than smashing all the pins at once, but see for yourself. Go on, have a ball. That sounds kind of fun, honestly. I'll try it. Ah, uh, uh. oh, the sweet music of yes. There's a catch, though. One game costs a cool 20 rupees to play. Still up for a round. <laughs> all the puns in this game. <laughs> a cool 20 rupees. Sure. Aha! Play bells are ringing. I gotta set up the pins, but I'll be back in a flurry. You already made that joke, bro. Come on. I'm really curious about... Japanese rules about these games because this game is a Japanese developed game but it seems all the rules of bowling and golf are the same ones we use in America and I just wonder I know they have different rules for like baseball so I don't know maybe their rules for uh, bowling and golf are the same as American rules though this is a snowball you'll use it might not look like much but it's snow joke you get two rolls knock them flat if you can knock over all ten pins in one roll that's a strike only the most notorious bowlers can pull that off oh god a spare is when it takes both tries to finish the job. Not as good as a strike, but nothing to sneeze at. Oh. Well, good luck. Alright, and just to be clear, I didn't mean, like, the baseball rules are totally different. There's just, there's a couple things that are different, you know? It's not exactly the same, is what, is what I meant, so. Okay, so we just pick this up and give it a throw. We got some hills to deal with. But... Uh, okay, so it's all going to be about finding out the proper path down these hills. Maybe a little experimentation. Let's just start from right here. Give it a solid throw. Oh, oh, man. That was bad. It didn't really Aww. swerve at all, though. You got how many pins? Er, zero? Not as easy as it looks. Hey, Kittums. But hey, one throw left. Make it count. Stop calling me Kittums. Not only is that a dumb name, but I'm not a kid. Maybe I'm younger than you, but that doesn't make me a kid. Aww. Take a deep breath and go for broke on your second throw. Okay. I was trying to kind of approach, like, from an angle. Because I think that's that's a pro strat in real bowling, you know? You come in from the side, and then hit, like, the first and second pin kind of at the same time, but, like, from an angle. Didn't really work, though. Let's try this. No, it's rolling back left again. Oh, I suck. 
What do we get? Four. You knocked over how many pins? Four? Ooh. Your total is how many pins? Just four? I know you can do better than that. Keep your eye on the snowball. <laughs> okay. Let me try that again. We just gotta find the right spot, honestly. My advice, stay frosty and play again. So, what do you think about giving it one more whirl? Yeah, it's cheap enough. We can do this. Oh, the sweet music of yes. Yes, I'll pay the 20 rupees. Well, good luck. All right, well, let's just try it right from the front and see which way the ball rolls due to the hills. Like, this is pretty well lined up. Okay, right here. Oh, look at that shit. Come on, man. <laughs> it just immediately juked to the right and never came back. I do wish this went a little faster. Come on, load screen. I don't need the dialogue every single time. Just let me roll. Okay, we'll come from this side and throw left then. There it is. There it is. Yup. That's the spot, guys. <laughs> we found it. Give me that spare, girl. You knocked over how many pins? Ten? Ooh. Your total is how many pins? Ten? That was your second throw, so it counts as a spare. Snow him how it's done. Can I get a reward? Can I, like, recoup my rupees, maybe? Ah. You knocked them all down flat. That was no mean sleep, kiddums. I got you a special prize for pulling that one off. Ah, silver rupee. Wow, we got a hundred rupees for getting a spare. That means we made 80 rupees on that. wonder what happens if we get a strike. Yes. It's gotta be, like, it's probably a gold rupee if we get a strike, guys. Which means we can make a shitload of money off of this. If I'm right. Okay. Right about here. Whoa! No. I, I guess I walked too far. <laughs> Skate a minute there. I bet you'll score more points if you come back over this way. Yeah, it's just like in real bowling. You tiptoe over the line. That's a foul. You can't do it. You get a penalty. Snowly moly. What's gotten into you? Snowball bowling is a civilized game. There are rules. Okay. Here we snow. Okay, buddy. Yep. I wish there was like... I guess the, the totems are the the line, right? That's the demarcator. Don't walk past them. Okay, got it. Oh, that one went a little different. Oh, of course correct, please! Oh, man. Okay. That is tricky. That's the Japanese rules, that there's bumps and hills all over the bowling lane. Um... Let's try it from just a little off-center, like right here. Oh yeah, that's perfect too. Look at that. Oh. I want to get at least one strike before I give this up, guys. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll just pocket the money. It's all good to me. I like this music, too. It's very cheery. It's almost like Christmas music. Okay. Right about there. No! Roll back! Roll back, fucker! <laughs> My first roll just keeps veering a little bit off course, guys. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me! Yes! There we go, guys. Got a strike. Oh. I only had to cut out, like, two rolls. Whoa! All ten pins! That there's a strike! Show them how it's done, kiddums! What'd I tell you about calling me that? Ah. Well, bowl me over, kiddums. A snowing like that deserves an ice prize. How's about this snowball-making doohickey? What? Well, at least ways I'd offer it to you if you weren't snow-overloaded with stuff. Will this do instead? Wait, so he was going to give us an ice rod, but because our inventory's full, we get a gold rupee instead? So, what do you think about giving it one more whirl? 
Mm, okay, no, I'm, I'm good on that then. <laughs> no problem. I love the pins too much to ever leave. You bet your snowball will be here when you're ready for more. Okay, that is fun. And yeah, we could make a lot of rupees off that. It's Because it's only 200 to give it a roll. But then when you get a strike, you get 300 rupees. Or an ice rod, apparently, which I don't really care about that. Um, it's cool to know that we can do that there. And uh, I feel like you could just probably spend like maybe 10 minutes doing that once you get really good at you know getting the strikes every time and you could come away really rich. I mean, I don't really need a ton of money right now, but we'll remember that it's there at least. Although, now that I think about it, I wonder if he gives you like a better ice rod. Maybe it's like the next level. Because we know about ice rods and we know about blizzard rods. There's probably one after that too, right? So I don't know. Maybe we'll have to do that at some point just to see, just to confirm what we get from it, you know? This guy has to have some delicious meats. Oh, yeah. Raw prime and gourmet. Awesome. Awesome. 